Hi friends, welcome to our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please note, I am not a SEBI registered investment advisor. Contents of this video are for information purpose only. All investments are subject to market risk. If you are not understanding the risk or not ready to face the risk, please avoid stock market investment. We are very much thankful to you all who have shared, supported and subscribed our channel Be a Wise Investor. Please like, share and subscribe this channel. Good morning friends. Nasdaq closed at 11,095.11, a gain of 16 points yesterday. Whereas Nasdaq future is now trading with a loss of 31 points. Dow Jones closed at 33,910.85, a gain of 392 points yesterday. And Dow Jones future is also trading with a loss of 87 points as of now. S&P 500 lost 0.20 and closed at 3,990.97. All European markets closed in green except FTSE which lost 9.04 points. Singapore Nifty is now trading with a gain of 29 points only. Earlier it was trading more than 80 points plus. <clears throat> Asian markets are now trading in mixed mode. Indications are that Indian markets may open without much change and may give a very good move in the second half and may end in good gains due to upcoming budget sessions. Reliance Industries may hive off green hydrogen business to INVIT. Tata Metallics reported a sharp fall of 73% in Q3 net profit at 9.48 crores as against 35.65 crores a year ago. Analysts expect Finance Minister may trim FY24 fiscal deficit to 6% or even lower. RBI guidelines may prompt Jammu and Kashmir Bank to dilute promoter holding. Sundaram Fastener secured $250 million EV pod supply contract from a global automaker. ITC has signed an agreement to acquire D2C startup Sprout Life Foods Private Limited to strengthen its presence in the nutrition health food space. Adani Enterprises has inked a pact with Ashok Leyland for the launch of a hydrogen fuel cell electric truck on a pilot basis. Swedish defense company Saab scraps agreement with Adani to manufacture Gripen e-fighter in India. ICC Lombard profit after tax up 11% at 353 crores versus 318 crores. Tata Investment Corporation's Q3 profit after tax drops 12% to 35 crores. ICIC Prudential Life reported 29% year-on-year fall in standalone net profit for this quarter. Delta Crop reported 20.5% year-on-year rise in consolidated net profit at 84.82 crores for Q3 financial year 2023. LIC purchased additional 0.05% stake in CoForge and increased its stake to 5.033%. RVML has emerged as the L1 bidder for the commissioning and commissioning of power supply receiving and distribution system for Surat Metro Phase 1 at rupees 673.8 crores and Ahmedabad Metro Phase 2 with rupees 384.3 crores. Lead partner for these projects are Siemens 65% share and RVML is having only 35% share. Godi Plascon penny stock declared interim dividend of rupees 2 per share. Current market price is 28.80 only. Zerodha founder pitch finance minister to make wealthiest NRIs invest in Indian market. 36 one acquired control stake in Mumbai Angels and announced the launch of two new funds. Maharashtra enters partnership with Taiwan's Kogoro ANC and a local automotive system supplier to build electronic, uh, electric vehicle, battery swapping and charging stations in the state. Ethic give ton top 10 IT stocks which may give 50% upsides apart from Infosys, TCS, <coughs> Tech Mahindra, Wipro etc. Nuclear software current market price 386, target 580, 50.3% upside potential. OFSS current market price 3084, target 4500, 45.9% upward potential. 
Tanla platforms, current market price 732, target 988, 34.9 percentage upward potential. Mastek computers, current market price 1715, target 2240, 30.6 percentage upward potential. Birla Soft, current market price 294, target 381, 29.7 percentage upward potential. All the stocks current market price are the prices as on 30th January 2023. Intellect Design Arena, current market price 423, target 536, upward potential 26%. Happiest Mind Technology, current market price 885, target 1120, 26.6% upward potential. Sensor Technology, current market price 211, target 266, 25.9% upward potential. Ramco Systems, current market price 248, target 300, 20.80% upward potential. Emphasis current market price 2030, 2035, target 2380, 16.9% upward potential. ET's top 3 stocks for today are Haji Infra Engineering, Buying Range 681 to 684, Stop Loss 640, target 735. Endurance Technology, Buying Range 1419 to 1421, Stop Loss 1350, target 1520. Tech Mahindra, Buy Near 1040, Stop Loss 995, target 1130. Amansa Holdings acquired additional 3.27 lakh shares that is 1.6 percent, 65 percent stake at the rate of 2800 per share via open market transactions. Already they are having 4.16 percent age. Sojis Corporation sold 10.61 crore shares of Mothers and Sojis via open market transactions at the rate of 73.11 per share. As per December data, so this corporation is having 15.61 crore shares. Goldman such as bought 0.018 percentage shares of Google Das exports via an open market transactions and including increased their stake to 5.003 percentage. MACD showed bullish sign on ITC, NTPC, IAFL Finance, Sterling Technology and Kotak Bank. MACD showed bearish sign on Bank of India, Bandhan Bank, Samvardhana Madhasan, Canfin Homes and PNB Housing Finance. More buying interest was seen in LNTFH, Jindal Stainless and Mahindra CE Automation. More selling pressure was seen in Nika, Indus Towers, Glan Pharma, Balaji Amins and Natco Pharma. Stocks under the NSC FNO ban today are LNTFH, India Bulls Housing Finance, Manapuram Finance, Delta Corp and GNFC. Smith Bagadia stocks for today are Grasim buy at current market price target 1690 to 1700 stop loss 1630 Britannia buy at current market price target 4450 stop loss 4310 Anit Gupta stocks for today are SBI buy stop loss 578 target 615 Tata Motors buy stop loss 395 target 445 Ganesh Dongre stocks for today are IRCTC buy at 642, stop loss 628, target 675. MCX buy at 1642, stop loss 1585, target 1685. Business lines, stock of the day is buy IAFL finance at 515.20, target 575. Board meeting for Q3 results for today are Alok Textiles, Aram, Central Bank of India, CCL Products, Goa Government, Indusind Bank, Muthut Capital Services, OF Oracle Financial Software Services, Persistent Systems, PSP Projects, Rallies India, Surya Roshni, Shamaru Entertainment, Vinyl India, Vivanda Indices, Vent, Anubo Infra, etc. KDDL Board will meet today to consider buyback of shares. Coop Surat Board will meet today to consider rights issue of equity shares. These all are the information available with me now for sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you find this useful, please like the video, share it with your friends and relatives and subscribe the video please.